again. This is really a beautiful woods. Great one for walking through. I'm fortunate enough to live a couple miles away is all. It seems to be good for morels and chanterelles. Nice badge right here, right in the middle of the path. And as I'm looking around, there's uh, quite a few of them around here. Well, when they grow together, they grow in nice little clumps there. Nice pack. Yeah, it's what I like to find. That is a beaut. Not big, but just nice and meaty. Not a worm one in them. Perfect. All these babies are going to be put in a sweet brine, sweet pickle brine. About the only way I like them anymore. I think they're kind of bland tasting if you just fry them up. Some more that away too. One good thing about uh, chanterelle hunting. You can definitely see these from quite a ways away. Kind of bright yellow there, it's nice. A couple more right here. Well, I seem to have come upon the seashore of uh, lobster mushrooms. Quite nice. Probably can't see them very good, but they're there. So I'm just emerging. One right over here, he's fully out. It's a nice one. Another batch up right over here. Yeah, nice lobsters. One bad thing about finding them, they're always dirty like this, most of the time. Now there's a uh, strobe of white seeds. Look like they're a little old. Uh oh man. There's also a nice little worm crawling his way over to it. Interesting. Not bad. First time I've seen these in the woods here. Now these will stain red when you cut them. This thing stains. Watch this. Pretty quick there, huh? I don't want to eat them. Pretty mushroom, though. Nice, uh, Mega Calivia Rodmanai. Oh, that's a whooper. buddy right there. 